Today we are going to learn how to make a feather quill pen. Pens did not always come from the store. In old pictures you see people like Benjamin Franklin and George Washington signing their names with what looks like a fancy feather. But we can't write with a feather. It has no ink. What? This darn feather won't write. Feather quilled pens are nothing more than just a special modified bird's feather. The feather is cut to make a nib and then is dipped in ink for writing and here is how to make one. First find a nice sturdy bird's feather. These feathers came from my local hobby store. Fatter feathers make better pens. Let's look at the feather. So we understand the names of the basic parts, although there are many parts to a feather. The two main parts are the vein and the hollow shaft. The shaft is sometimes called the quill. Once you have a good feather, take a pair of scissors and trim away some of the short feather parts near the quill. Next, use scissors to cut across the hollow shaft at an angle towards the tip. Clear out the inside of the quill with the tip of the scissors or a toothpick. Okay. Use the scissors to sharpen the tip into a sharp point. Then make one small cut straight down the middle about one quarter inch. Your pen is now ready to use. But wait! We need ink! This bottle of black Indian ink I also picked up at my local hobby store. They also sell it at art supply stores and at some bookstores. Be careful, it stains. Carefully dip your new quill pen into the ink. Wipe the sides of the pen against the edge of the bottle. Now you're ready to write a letter or draw a picture. Dear Mr. Franklin, I hope this letter finds you in good spirits and with a healthy constitution. I read with great interest of your recent kite flying exploits. However, I failed to see the utilities of this so-called electricity. I believe not much shall come of it.